Hello out there once again, friends, Jersey Joe, Ion, and you for an edition of The Brew Live or those of you watching the rebroadcast and or on demand later on. We got another good one talking about baseball, talking about food, put them together, and you get this week's topic. What's the best food in a ballpark? What is your to-go food when you go to see a baseball game? With all of us getting vaccinated now, more and more parks are opening, and they'll be able to open their concession stands too to be able to indulge all you want on those $20 beers. So that's the question. What's your favorite food? There's Joel out there in Vegas. Him and I have been to tons of games together. I think I already know your answer, but go ahead and tell the world what is your favorite food at a ballpark. Uh, so mine is a pretzel with cheese and popcorn. You can pick either one. You can do the and or. Those are the best ones. It's not a hot dog. That's going to be the most common answer. But no, you can stuff a hot dog up your ass if you think that that's the best hot dog. That's the best food at a ball game. But I'm pretty f***ed up if you can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen you get really, really angry, too, when they serve you your pretzel and you're missing the cheese, especially after you've paid for the cheese, right, Yankee Stadium? <laughs> At Yankee Stadium for three times in a row. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason, they just won't give the man his cheese. It just won't happen. Uh, Good answer, though. All right, well, mine, I'm going to go right with you. I'm the common answer, and Ollie wrote in, dog in a brew. First off, let's thank Ollie for dropping the name of this fine web show. But, yes, hot dog loaded up with the condiments. I absolutely love that. You know, that's the Pittsburgh of me. We just doubt, you need ketchup. You need mustard. You need onion, sauerkraut, relish. And, of course, when you go to Yankee Sam, they don't even have half of that. But their other ballparks do it better. But my second food, though, at Yankee Sam, if I'm really, really, really hungry – I go with Lobel's. They make a great steak sandwich. You actually have two locations. And Mike F325, he agrees with me, Joe. If you put up a poll of Yankees Twitter, Lobel steak, garlic fries, and a beer at the stadium, I think it would crush all competition. In fact, Lobel's, there's two locations. One is in section 134. The other one is in 321 at Yankee Stadium. Great steak sandwich. It's actually one of the few places where you can get enough barbecue sauce and stuff. I don't think I've ever given you – I don't think you've had Lobel's, though, right, Joe? I don't think we've tried it yet. Uh, not recently. They always have a pretty big line to get in there, too, because it's just it's just a damn fine sandwich. And I hope they survive the pandemic. In I, I know they're still open in Manhattan, I believe. I hope they're still open when the stadium reopens. My other place used to be uh, Brother Jimmy's, too, but they closed in Yankee Stadium. That was another good spot. One of my favorites in Manhattan. Joe likes all the places that eventually close. Yeah, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's about right. Not a good right. for you, LaBelle's, but you never know. <laughs> Well, you guys have a lot of great suggestions. Let's get to them right now because Bronx Bombers 46 says nachos, Matt Strong, nachos. Alex says Petco Park tri-tip nachos. Uh oh, and Ed, nachos, but it's Sox Park. They offer pico de gallo with theirs, and the chips are way better than most parks. Also, much of the food at Sox Park, IDK what they call it at the moment, is from local neighborhood restaurants. Well, first off, it's guaranteed rate field, but nachos, that's another fine staple at the ballpark, right? Nacho, nachos is one that you should be able to get a decent plate of anywhere, but you really can't. That's, uh, that's one of the ones that uh, you would think would be a good answer, but low-key is not. I like when you get the nachos, too, and they give you, you can get both options. You can get the cheese, or you can get the salsa with it, too. I like both because sometimes I want cheese, sometimes I want both. Just make sure they give you enough. That's the other problem. They'll give you, like, five million chips, and you don't get enough toppings on it. You got to bring your own Lunchables in, and that way you can just, like, put all that shit in a blender if you have to. The worst concession experience I ever had was actually at the new Yankee Stadium. This is like, I don't know, five, six years ago. And I got a bag of nachos. I literally opened up a bag of Doritos, popped open the foil bag, and just started dumping in, like, the cheese, the salsa, the chili, and then just handed me the bag. Like, no tray, no nothing. And it literally looked like a used diaper, first of all. It was good, but it was just a freaking mess. It was $12. The guy had, like, no napkins at a stand, no nothing. It was... You know, I always call out Yankee Stadium concessions for being bad. They are not good for the general public, and they need to do better. And this is one case where they didn't do well. Yeah, you look like you're eating diarrhea. <laughs> More of your comments, though. It's Brian25 says, you can never go wrong with churros. Hey, shout out to churros. Uh, by Casino Ad says, chicken on a stick, peanuts, and Diet Coke. Scooter McGavin says, I'm a huge fan of Boob's Barbecue in Baltimore. I had that. That's succulent. And Ty Box says, dude, the brisket mac and cheese from Blue Smoke at City Field is banging. Hey, barbecue is good, too, in a game. But you got to be careful, though, because if you're like me, you end up splattering barbecue sauce all over your beautiful Yankees pinstripe jersey. Joe has quite a few dirty jerseys, that's for sure. Hey, what do you think about churros, though? Shout out to those churros. Churros are good. Oh, man, definitely. That's a great answer. That's an underrated answer. That's, a, that's an easy one for any time and any age. Yeah, and usually you can't screw that up. 
But really mad treats got the final answer. He says Farmer John LA Dodger Dogs, of course. And of course, you've got to get a mini helmet of soft serve ice cream. Dodger Dogs, I've never had one, have you? Because I always hear that they're kind of overrated. Yeah, I have had them. I actually had this conversation with someone earlier today. Uh, yeah, they're not that great. They're 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 better than like a Walmart dog. Don't get me wrong. The Walmart dogs are like what one twelfth of a dollar. Yeah, Dodger dogs are okay. They're just okay. They're their rival. Uh, this is the, the point I made to someone today. The the rival, the Giants, has a better hot dog. <laughs> they're better at it. Ooh. Well, I mean, if you want to talk about hot dogs, too, between Yankee Stadium and City Field, like, City Field at least has all kinds of toppings you can put on. They have a whole, like, fixin's bar. They don't care about it. They'll give you sauerkraut relish all you want in there, whereas Yankee Stadium, you get, like, the squirt dispenser of French's ketchup mustard, and that's it. Maybe, if you're lucky, they might have onions at some of the stands, but they got to do better than that. The worst hot dog, though, you've seen me eat was the Fenway Franks. That thing was, you talk about Walmart hot dogs, that thing was two steps lower, basically, like, fried bologna. Ten times the price. It was just not good. I'm not saying that because I'm a Yankee fan. I'm saying it because it was just like dog food. And it was dog food priced. Them in Oakland were the only two that had dog food prices. And Joe took advantage of it. And he's now mad that he, he's wagging his tail. All right. I, I got I to hijack this, though, for one thing, though. Sunday in a helmet. Do you love the Sunday in a helmet? When I was a kid growing up, like, Dairy Queen used to have that every year where you could get, like, every couple of days you would have another team's helmet. I probably had, like... 50 of those things laying around. I love the Sunday Night Helmet at a ballpark. That's a good one. Yeah, I actually do. There's a couple of them over there. But um, I have A's and Twins and Mariners. and like I think there's the Rangers over there. But yeah, I remember those. Those little ballpark helmets that you would get a little scoop of Baskin Robbins or whatever in. Yeah, Sunday Night Helmet's a winner. But when you and I had those milkshakes at Yankee Stadium like two years ago, that's another one. It was just like this mess in a glass, no booze in or anything. And they were like $20 a piece. That was another one. And they just like decomposed in the hot summer heat like nothing. Another miss. Yeah, Yankees. I, I don't recommend Yankee Stadium for food, and I know Joe's going to agree with me on that one. Regular viewers of this show or my Twitter know I call them out for the concessions all the time, but at least we have a chance we'll be able to go back to a ballpark this year, so okay. For shizzle. And one thing you want to be all okay about, click that like and subscribe button down below for all the fun here at the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube channel. Four big shows waiting for you each every week. More food, more baseball, more fun waiting for you. And all right, yeah, yeah, it's great. And I got to be honest now, every time we do one of these food shows, I get really hungry. And now pretty much when we're done, I'm going to jump on Seamless here and I think I'm going to have some hot dogs delivered. You can always uh, switch over to the Food Network and jerk off. No, the Food Network now is all reality shows. Anyway. I'm not even food anymore. Now it's all Guy Fieri doing something else stupid. But, uh, yeah, and those of you who want to watch the uh, Mets-Phillies game here in New York tonight, it's severely raining right now, so good question if that game even gets on for goes into a delay at the time of this live stream. So, you guys can't even watch the Mets lose in real time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, Jersey Joe here. I am saying thanks for watching. Thanks for all your comments, and we'll see you next time. I hope.